I might have a few too many favorite young adult books. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela Ann, the friend of all the good YA book recommendations and literary lifestyle tips. Today we're going to be going over my favorite young adult books of all time. I've kind of divided these up into different stages of my life because I think that my favorite books when I was in middle school aren't necessarily my favorite books now, but they do deserve their own part of this video because they meant so much to me back when I was younger. Because we have so many books to get through, I'm not sure how many giant descriptions I'm going to be going into but all the books I discuss will be linked down below if you want to go check them out. first age group was between the ages of 10 to 14. These were my favorite book series. The first book series I absolutely adored when I was in middle school is the Darkest Minds series by Alexander Bracken. This series is a young adult dystopian and to be honest it was probably my favorite young adult dystopian even more so than The Hunger Games or Divergence. I remember at one point I actually pinned to like my book lovers Pinterest board I used to have back in the day this really angsty meme that said when you're the only one who likes a book in the fandom and it was like this person like looking out on like a field of flowers by themselves and then my comment was me with the darkest minds because no one back in the day used to read this series but I was absolutely obsessed with it but I think what's funny about it is that I thought this was like the coolest thing ever that the first three books kind of made a sentence when you line them up so the darkest minds never fade in the afterlight it's not even like it's that great of a sentence but I thought it made a really cool sentence and I was like whoa Alexandra Bracken is so clever for doing that other young adult dystopian I really remember loving during this time period was one that was about royalty. I think the third book though didn't come out until I was over 14 years old but I'm still putting it in this age group just because I really associate this series with middle school and that is The Selection by Kira Cass. For those of you who don't know this book series is kind of like The Bachelor but set in a dystopian society where America now has a monarchy and the main character America, her name's America, and the other 34 girls in this book are trying to compete for the prince hand in marriage but in a dystopian world. I absolutely adored these book series when I was younger and I still think these are some of the prettiest book covers to this day and also this is just a really fun upbeat series and I'm sorry you can't even see my face because I'm holding up the covers because honestly they're just prettier and we should all look at them. Other than dystopian books the other type of book I really enjoyed during this time period was young adult contemporary novels which is still one of my favorite genres today. One of the first young adult contemporary book series that I really fell in love with was Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. So this book was a companion novel series. It was a trilogy. I kind of forget exactly how all three of the main characters knew each other, but this first book, Anna and the French Kiss, deals with this girl named Anna who moves to a boarding school in Paris and of course falls in love with her one of her beautiful Parisian classmates. It's just a really fun cheesy novel and in this book they talk a lot about Shakespeare and Company which is a bookstore in Paris. When I was in Paris a couple of years ago, I actually went to the Shakespeare and Company bookstore because of this book series and I'm so happy I did that because it is one of the best bookstores in the world. The other two books in this series were Lola and the Boy Next Door and Isla and the Happily Ever After, although I think Anna and the French Kiss is probably my favorite of the three. I really loved them all. The one thing I will say that's really annoying about these copies is that I bought Anna and the French Kiss and Lola and the Boy Next Door and they look normal, right? Same height. And then I bought Isla and the Happily Happily ever after and this happened. Look at that difference in height. Does anyone else just get so annoyed when books have differences in height like that? The next book series that I absolutely loved during this time period that I now look back on now as slightly problematic was To All the Boys I Loved Before by Jenny Han. This book series will always have a special place in my heart and it was my absolute favorite book series for a really long time. I also love these covers. I don't know if they made new covers since the movie came out, but I hope not because these covers for these three books are just absolutely gorgeous and I'm sure you all know what To All the Boys I've Loved Before is about. There's a Netflix series based off of these books and yes I have seen the movies and every time I watch the movies I get this feeling of nostalgia but also this feeling of Peter was not the great romantic protagonist that I thought he was when I was in middle school. <laughs> 
The next age period that I have is kind of the first three years of high school. And what really marks this period in my reading journey is that I became absolutely obsessed with fantasy books. I basically stopped reading contemporaries altogether and really just dove into the fantasy world. The first fantasy series that I read, maybe ever, especially for like high fantasy, was the Grisha trilogy by Lee Bardugo. So that's the first book I'm going to mention. I don't have the actual physical books because I got them at the library, but this series was just so monumental because I fell in love with the fantasy world and just wanted to read every single fantasy series I possibly could, which led me to discover one of my absolute favorite series of all time. And if you've been around here at all or have seen any of my book talks or my bookstagram posts, you probably know that I am talking about the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Mass. So Sarah J. Mass is one of my favorite authors and I started reading the Throne of Glass series I think my freshman year of high school. The way I started reading this series is actually really odd. So Sarah J Mass like friended me on Goodreads and I saw her account and I was like, oh wow, she has this book called Throne of Glass. And this was like before there was any hype around this series. And I read the description. I'm like, oh wow, I'm friends with this person. This is her series. I should go buy this book. So I went out and bought Throne of Glass and absolutely fell in love with it. A couple months later, the rest of the world fell in love with the series too. But I like to think that I was kind of early to the Throne of Glass trend. The other two series I distinctly remember during this time period also kind of had some fantasy elements but weren't high fantasy. So the first series is the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare. This series definitely came out when I was a little bit younger but I didn't get around to reading it until ninth grade because one of my friends recommended it to me and as soon as I started reading it I bought all the books. The other ones are up there on the shelf. For a good three months or so the Mortal Instruments books were the only books that I read. The other series I think I started reading in middle school but didn't really get obsessed with until this period was the Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. These are sci-fi retellings of different fairy tales. So the first book follows the story of Cinderella. The second book, Scarlet, follows a sci-fi retelling of Little Red Riding Hood. The third book, Cress, follows a sci-fi retelling of Rapunzel. The fourth book, Winter, follows the sci-fi retelling of the Snow White story. There's Fairest, which is about the evil queen in the series and her life and I also really loved Ferris but for some reason I don't own it. I do think Ferris came out when I was kind of out of my Lunar Chronicles obsession. Then we get into kind of late high school, early college. And during this time period, I did have a pretty big reading slump. However, there were a couple of authors I found during this time period. And I'm wondering actually if the reading slump was because I was kind of transitioning from those super heavy fantasy books to back into more contemporary books. And also in a really positive twist into more diverse books. A series I remember reading my senior year of high school that I absolutely adored though was The Pro Program by Suzanne Young. This is a really twisted sci-fi story. There are six books total, but I only own three of them. I have read all six books in the series. Another characteristic of this time period was that I started to really get into one of my absolute favorite authors, who is Adam Silvera. If you don't know, I just absolutely adore Adam Silvera's writing. I also think Adam Silvera might have been one of the first LGBT authors that I read, and it really opened me up to the LGBT genre, which if you don't know, I absolutely love queer books. I think this book came out probably technically in the next era, but I'm just going to put it here as kind of a placeholder for Adam Silvera and it's They Both Die at the End. All of his books are absolutely amazing and if you love contemporary books, especially contemporary books with a little bit of a speculative twist, I highly recommend checking out anything by Adam Silvera. <laughs> The next time period was marked by me kind of really getting into diverse books and then also reading diversely across genres. So today I would say while I do read a lot of contemporary books, I also still read a lot of like fantasy, some historical fiction, some sci-fi, and one sci-fi series in particular that I really love that came out later is the Scythe series by Neil Shusterman. This is just a super dark and twisted series and in general during my college years, 
I've really gotten into Neil Schusterman as an author. He has a couple of other series as well. What I like about this series I think is really cool is that it is a dystopian, but it's not a romantic dystopian like I used to read all the time during middle school, but a dystopian that is more grounded in the action and the plot. Finally, another series which really marks these years is a duology I read that really changed my perception of historical fiction. I always loved history and when I was in elementary school I read a lot of historical fiction. The Royal Diaries were my absolute favorite series. As I got older I stopped reading so much historical fiction just because it felt a little bit dry to me and this series really changed my mind on young adult historical fiction and it is The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. This series is just super fun and deals with a lot of the history that we don't talk about so it deals a lot of like LGBT history and feminism and stuff like that. First book in this series is The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue. The second book I loved even more and that is The Lady's Guide to Petticoats and Piracy. This book is so amazing. Oh my gosh, this absolutely is my favorite historical fiction story that I have ever read. So I didn't give large descriptions of any of those books again, just because there were so many to get through, but I hope you enjoyed little video and walk down memory lane. I'm excited to see where my reading tastes go one year from now, two years from now, and as I transition from university into adult life. I would love to know how your reading tastes changed as you've gotten older, so definitely let me know in the comments down below. If you are new here, I would love if you would consider subscribing. I post reading recommendation videos every single Saturday and then usually some sort of fun video on Wednesdays, whether that be a reading vlog, a writing vlog, a book haul, whatever it may be. I will see you all in my next video and down in the comments.